All right, so here we're back with our butchered C major scale. Um, I wanted to go over how we can make, have a little bit more fun and get a little more of a variety with the rhythm here. So we saw that we can add a number after the, after the note uh, to say what duration it should be. So eight means an eighth note, 16 means a 16th note. Um, I wonder how far that goes. If I make this a 32, uh, it does give me a 32nd note. All right, after that comes a 64th note. Ooh, I can get a 64th note. Can I, do I dare ask for a 128th note? I can even get a 128th note. Okay, if you are writing stuff with 128th notes, I hope you've got a more advanced um, uh, music writing system than Trinket. Um, I shouldn't say that, that's mean. I'll take that back. <clears throat> If you are writing a composition with 128th notes, uh, Godspeed to you. You you are a, a much better musician than I have ever been or will ever be. Uh, but you might be wondering, well, how do I get, for example, how do I add a dot to this half note? How do I get this thing to last three beats? Well, you got a couple options, right? So in music, you can add a dot and a dot adds half the value. That's pretty straightforward. You just put a period afterwards. So it's literally a dot in the code becomes a dot on the screen. I know it's, it's such a remarkable idea to make, uh, to have your code make logical sense with what you call things. So that'll make that last three beats. That's not the only option, of course. Uh, let's suppose I wanted I wanted this to be a half note followed by a uh, followed by an eighth note. So let's suppose I wanted it to be a, an eighth note in here. Excuse me, C eight. There we go. Um, and then I want. Let's suppose I wanted to tie those together. Let's suppose I want to take away the dot here and I want to tie those. Um, I can put in a tie using a tilde. Uh, it looks like I need a space there. Yes, there we go. Okay, so you have to do space tilde space. I didn't, I didn't put that down in my notes. Uh, you put in a tilde in between the two notes um, to tie them. So now that will last you two and a half beats. Oh, and now I messed things up because now I've got all the quarter notes down here syncopated. Um, let's turn this C into, oh, I know what to do with this. Let's put a dot on this. And uh, so that'll be a dotted quarter note. I've accidentally dotted all of the rest of my quarter notes there. So we'll just have this be a quarter note here. And there we go. Okay, now I've got my measure break back in place. Good, good, good. You know what I would not mind added to this thing would be a metronome to just give you ticks along the way. Um, it's nice having a little bar go across, but you notice it doesn't move at an even speed because it's having to render these faster, etc. because the, the horizontal distance doesn't exactly correspond to the time. I wonder if there's a way you could get that. Um, let's make this one a dotted half note just so we've got a nice complete measure at the end there. There we go. And then you might be saying, goodness, Brian, that is a lot of noise going through. How do I get a rest? Um, well, let's suppose you want to put in a rest. Um, where might you want one? Um, I tell you what, I tell you what we'll do. This, this uh, treble line has not continued on here. So let's put a rest in after this high C. So you just type in the letter R to give you a rest. And it's going to work the same way the notes do, right? It's going to default to whatever the duration was you used on the previous one. So I had a, uh, a quarter note here, so this is a quarter rest. If I turn this to a half note, then this defaults to a half rest, right? So it follows the same convention there, or if I wanted to make this different, I could make this a quarter rest, uh, excuse me, that's a whole rest, you know, a quarter rest, there we go. Tap the wrong key. Um, so now we've got a half note here. Let's turn this back to a quarter note, there we go. So I have a quarter note, quarter rest, and then I can have more stuff going on uh, over here. Maybe let's have um, an arpeggio going down. So we'll get a G primed. There we go. And then we'll have a quarter rest. Um, I guess I don't need to have the four there. I can just do that. And then I need an E primed. Um, then I need a quarter rest. That's not going to sound good against this A flat, but you know what? We're, we're just illustrating the uh, 
the, 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 the rest here. Um, let's see. I'm just showing you how to write the music. I'm not telling you how to write good music. I'm just showing you how to use it on Trinket here. Uh, let's see. Next would be C primed. There we go. And then we'll have a rest. And we need to have this mel. We need to have this rhythm catch up with this rhythm. So let's just have the rest go in eighth notes. So we'll have a G as an eighth note, and then I'll have a rest, and then I'll have an E, and then I'll have a rest, and then I'll have a middle C. Uh, let's see, I've got one beat, two beats. I got two more beats here, so I'll make that a half note. There we go. Now everybody's lined up in terms of beats. That, that's actually not too bad. I'm, I'm kind of proud of this for not having composed anything in a while. This, this, is a, this is a good deal. All right, now the big question, how do I get a triplet? Uh, let's see, the way you do that, let's, let's, let's pick something to turn into triplet first. Uh, let's take these last three notes here. Um, I guess not last three, the last three of this measure. So that's not the C, that's not the D, that's these three. We're going to turn those into a triplet. The way you do that is you type in trip, trip, and then we'll close that up here. And you notice here, I get a triplet. Now it's defaulted to quarter note triplets. Let's see how that ends up. Yeah, let's see. So, okay, so the way triplets work, when you have three of them, it takes up the same space that two of them normally would. So this is going to be triplet over two and three. So beat two starts here, beat three starts in the middle here. Um, and then we have one and four here. Okay, I'm not going to embarrass myself by clapping it out and singing it because I, 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 I don't think I can do that anymore in life. Okay, I didn't, I didn't, I had trouble hearing that. Let me try that again. There it goes. Da, 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 da. There we go. Cool. So we got triplets there. Um, let's see if I want that to be an eighth note, an eighth note triplet. Do I put an eight at the end there? No. Do I put an eighth in here? There we go. Okay. So if I want to change those to eighth note triplets, I can uh, just put an eight here uh, on the first one. I think that's the same as putting them on all three. I, I don't suppose it'll let me do that. Oh, it did let me do that. I have no idea what sort of monstrosity that's supposed to be like. Um, so I'll just leave it as that. I, I don't think I've ever seen that in a... I, I guess it would be twice as long as the others, but it's going to mess up the, the rest of it. I guess, I guess you would do that if you only had two notes in here and you wanted to have an eighth note triplet here and a quarter note triplet here, and then you left out the third note because you've got two triplets invested in here. So it'd be like, it'd be like this. You'd be closing it up here. Get rid of that there. That, that arrangement does not look right to my eyes. Uh, we're going to put that back to the way it was. There we go. Okay, now I've got an eighth note triplet there. All right, guys, so I've got one, beat one, beat two, beat three. Uh, so let's make this a half note now, just for the sake of getting the measure there. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. That's that, that's not bad. So anyway, that's a little more of how you can get more rhythm and rests out of your trinket composition. Next time, we're going to take a look at how to play around with the type signature and the key signature and all a bunch of other options and such that you can change about your composition. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.